This is uh, e pluribus unum, which means out of many, one. It was evident to everybody from first snap that he was on campus that he was going to be a heck of a player. 11 games into his college career, Charles Woodson was on his way to becoming the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Picked off by Woodson. Woodson is... In the season finale against Ohio State, he clinched it. They're undefeated. You know, this is a chance for them to go to the national championship game. And our whole mentality, you know, that week was, not on our watch. That performance that day, uh, you can't play any better. And he throws for Glenn, and picked off. He had his first interception in the third quarter, but that last play uh, that he made in the fourth quarter, Ohio State was driving with a chance to tie the game. Terry Glenn, can he get it? Picked off, Woodson. Of course, we won the game upset Ohio State. When the game was on the line, Wood showed up. And that's what he was. I mean, he was a game breaker. The following offseason, Woodson would become a mold breaker. That next year, we were going to be losing two of our best players, Amani Toomer and Mercury Hayes. And conversation came up about me playing offense. I was like, yeah, I'd love to play offense. But I play on the outside. I play receiver, no running back. He had such a, an innate sense to play the game on defense. I knew that if he just had a little bit of time and some repetitions on offense that he could contribute. And once that happened, whew, I was in heaven. Hand off to Williams, reverse to Woodson, going left. And he's hemmed in in the backfield. He eludes one man with a stick mark. Now cuts up field, went around to the 45. He's oh, going to go my into God. open to the 20. Touchdown, Charles Woodson. When he went to the ball game, the ball was going to Wood. And they still couldn't stop it. He drives back time to the middle. Touchdown, Woodson! Woodson's ability to impact a game seemed limitless. But a practice dispute with his head coach left him in danger of a benching until a phone call with the ultimate authority. If you don't want to go to school for yourself and do it for you, I said, do it for me. And he said, okay. And that was the end of that. I've been asked many times, is Charles difficult to coach? Did you ever have any problems? And for the first time, I will tell you, I did have a problem with him. <laughs> I called his mother. She straightened him out in a hurry. I never had another problem. I wanted to win a championship. And I wanted to win it bad. And if I had to be more involved in the offense, or whatever it was, sign me up. He thinks he can make every play. And I'll be damned if he can't make just about every play. As a junior, Woodson did. Woodson he was a one-of-a-kind, dominating, do-everything-force on a Michigan team that started 10-0. Made a spectacular interception! The regular season finale against Ohio State was no ordinary rivalry game. He just stand him there now to fight. Woodson put together the most memorable performance of his college career. Woodson got it on a crossing route. 30, hit from behind. Intercepted by Charles Woodson. He booms another one. Woodson races to his left, to the 25, splits two men. And there he goes, down the sideline. When I get to the end zone, I'm actually telling the cameras to focus because I'm about to strike the pose. And my teammates jump all over me. So I didn't get to do the pose. Well, Desmond has the pose. I have the rose. After the game, of course, the emotions are running high. They pass me the rose and almost, you know, Spontaneous reaction, I grab it, I bite it, just, just, to, just to confirm, we're going to the Rose Bowl. We knew that the, you know, the cards were stacked against him for the Heisman. There's no way they give it to a defensive player. You know, it just, it doesn't happen. A 
of course, the front runner, you know, was Peyton Manning all throughout the year. Basically, it's like people had given it to him months ago. I remember thinking in the back of my mind, just do the right thing. Like, he is the best player in college football. And the winner. From Michigan, Sean Hitchin. I kind of froze a little bit. I dropped my head, I heard what he said, but it didn't quite sink right in. Randy, he nudges me with his elbow. That instant kind of woke me up a little bit that, man, I just won the Heisman Trophy. It wasn't about the gaudy numbers. To me, the voters had said, this year, we're gonna vote for the best football player in the country. His number one goal, and he was very vocal about this, was not the individual awards. It was the national championship. The 84 Rose Bowl game. In Woodson's final college game, his end zone interception helped bring Michigan its first national championship in a half century. For him to go out that way in the Rose Bowl, uh, we all wanted that for Charles. Winning it and finally taking care of that business, I felt like I was free. To me, it was like a weight off my shoulders. It's time to go on to the next chapter.